Hi everyone, I'm Dan Harding with Power and Rodeo and Active Interest Media. Today, Valentine's Day, what better place? There's a lot to love about this year's Miami Boat Show. Right here before the setup starts, before the setup gets finished and boats are gleaming. Hard to believe things are going to kick off tomorrow. Look at my list here of some of the boats we're planning to cover over the next couple days. And just a short list is looking like Sunseeker 55 Superhawk, the 67 Predator, Valhalla 55, Viking 90, Leopard 40, Aquila 42, Absolute 52 Fly, Regulator 30XO, Blackfin 400cc, Grady White 281, Intrepid 41, CV 420Z, Galleon 440 Fly, 560 Fly, Prestige M48, Riviera 46, Jupiter 40, Vietnam Yachts 37, Hylas M49, Beneteau Swift Troller 41 Sedan, Fjord 41 XL, Swan Shadow, Fountain Peugeot 67, Cronky 78, Okean 57, Solara S250, new boats from XO Boats and Sea Ray. That's just to name a few of them. So, yep, we're gonna make sure uh, you have some comfortable shoes. It's gonna be a lot of run around in the next couple days, but thankfully, I got a great crew with me to do it. Joining me is senior editors Shane Scott and Chris Dixon, man behind the camera, digital director John Turner. And then we have a couple other familiar faces from Power Party that will be joining us. We have Gene Craig, Charlie Levine, Jeff Moser. And on top of that, we also have Pin Van Hemmen, Gary Rich, and Eric Colby. Everybody running, running around the docks and collaborating more than ever to bring you guys all the great content from the show and to make sure that we, we don't miss a thing, which, as you can see from that list, is, uh, it's, it could be easy to do. So that's all of our titles, kind of teaming up, soundings, Yachts International, Anglers Journal, Trade Only, Passage Maker. You need a team like that to cover a show like this. <laughs> Always love kind of sneaking in the day before and seeing how the, the show's coming together. It takes a small army to, to make these docks in this marina happen. It's your Boats come from all around the world. Over here, Prestige. This is going to be the, the M48. It's, a, it's the first power cap for Prestige, a model we were lucky enough to see in Cannes, but we get, hopefully get to spend a little more time here as it makes its North American debut. Galleon will be posting a, another video and a longer review on the 560 Fly. That's that boat we see right there getting a lot of attention and I'm sure it hasn't even started yet. So look at the size of those windows, the fold down gunnels. That thing's a showstopper for sure. Out of Australia, Riviera is coming out with, it seems like countless new models. But the one I'm interested in seeing is one that we've already reviewed in Power Mordiot, but I haven't had the chance to see yet, is the Riviera 46. on the end here. This looks like the uh, Absolute 52 Fly. Again, another build that's coming out with a, a ton of models and not none of them are all that different. Actually, that's going to be the 60, so I think the 52 is, is further inside, but we're all doing a lot with similar design language with the exterior windows and absolutely massive walls of glass. This we'll spend a little time on, on this one tomorrow before it gets too crazy. This is the highly anticipated Sunseeker 55 Superhawk. Sunseeker ceased production of the Superhawk line back in 2009. It's coming back in a really big way. Over here, Aquila. Kind of sound like a broken record. Another builder that's coming out with a ton of boats. You can see a lot of the, of the multi hull market here. They're coming out with a new 42. So we'll be checking that out first thing tomorrow morning. Probably an area we won't spend that much time, unfortunately, is the, uh, the Gosling's tent. At least we, we shouldn't be if everyone's doing their job right. 
But one day I'm going to come back to the show just as a show goer and I'm going to park it right there. Fontaine Peugeot was one of the first power cats I, I got to test a while back. It was one of their, I think it was their 46 with IPS. See how they come a further iteration with this, the 67. I'll take you guys for a tour on that later in the show. This thing looks like a small football field. The beam is wild. This is the leopard display. One of the boats that's actually at the other location at uh, Museum Park Marina is the new 40. We want to stay tuned for Chris Dixon's reporting and really reporting across the group and Passage Maker and Soundings as well as our crew just came back from South Africa and uh, they had a pretty, pretty wild time. Speaking of South Africa, this is a boat. I wasn't, wasn't quite sure this boat was going to make its debut here. It's the Two Oceans 555. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, new, a new brand here represented by HMY. We'll take a closer look tomorrow. Out of Brazil is the Okean Yachts, and they have a new 57-footer here at the show. HMY with the absolutely massive brokerage display. A nice Lazara here. There's uh, Lazara is a company that's really on the on the comeback. They have a 67 that'll be debuting at Palm Beach. They have a lot of interesting builds coming out right now. The weather could not be better. It's, it's warm, not, not too hot, a little breeze. Coming down from Connecticut this morning, you cannot beat a Miami boat show. Worth considering if you're planning to make the trip, which I hope a lot of you do, there are a number of different venues here. There's Museum Park Marina, there's a convention center that has a ton of boats on display, and then there's the in-water show here at One Herald Plaza. So if there's a particular boat you're, you're interested in seeing, make sure you don't make the mistake I did. Do your homework first and, uh, and know where everything is ahead of time, because it is a little tricky getting from venue to venue. People to be working well, well into the night, gearing up for the big, big opening morning. Just had a feature that literally just went to press yesterday on the Techno Rib. By uh, the tire company Pirelli, so it's kind of a nice little, nice little nod to that in their styling. Krogan, Summit Yacht. A few Marlows up ahead.
kind of left up here. This is another new one, Fjord 41 XL. Overdue on a, on a test for that one. So that boat seems born for these South Florida waters. Bunch of crossover yachts here from Formula. They don't have the center consoles at this location, but those are, uh, those were told got a huge amount of attention coming out of Lauderdale. It's one of our previous cover stars. Cruisers on display with their 50 GLS, which was in Lauderdale, but a lot more people get to see it here. Uh, getting a little dark here. I think you guys get the gist of it. Kind of back in the corner there is, a, is an old friend. Hard to see from this angle, the Tierra EX60. I know a lot of people are going to come down. This is the uh, world debut of that boat. Another one of our previous cover stars. That was a fun trip. So that's it, guys. That's, well, that's, at least that's it for right now. Better hit, better hit it pretty early because we have a lot to cover in the next couple days. Stay tuned here, pnymag.com, and all of our sister publications. See you guys on the docks.